My closet definitely needs a facelift, so I'm gonna bring you along as I make it happen. Hey guys, it's Jessica, how's it going? I had been around the house today getting some stuff done, and the next thing on my list to do today is a little bit of a closet detox, if you will. Um, I'm gonna give my closet a little bit of a makeover. I'm gonna start by doing a clean out, so I actually have a clean out bag from Thread Up, they were kind enough to sponsor this video. I've been a longtime customer of Thread Up, and this is the second clean out bag I'm gonna send into them. Um, so, my closet definitely could use, like I said, a little bit of detoxing. So, I'm gonna take you through the process of going through everything. With the transitions between seasons, um, it's, it's a good time for me personally to go through my stuff as I'm switching over my clothes. Let me know in the comments when you like to do your closet clean outs. For me, it's really, transitioning from the fall and winter into spring and summer and vice versa. The whole process I'm gonna go through now is to go through everything in my closet. I have a drawer down here that I need to go through as well that has some athletic wear and lounge wear and things of that nature that could be gone through. And once I've gone through that process, I'm gonna give my closet a good deep clean, get the vacuum in there and clean the mirror. My mirror in there is pretty gross right now. I got kids and they like to touch it. Um, so that needs to be cleaned, it's been a while. And I don't know if I'll get to it tonight or not, but we have a set of drawers that is going in that closet. So if we have time, we'll assemble that tonight and get that put in there. If it makes it in the video, it does. If not, I'll show you kind of what we're looking at doing. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the closet clean out. So here's a look at my closet. Forgive the lighting. It's not the best, but um, I'm just going to start by going through my clothes here, if I can talk. <laughs> and the stuff that I want to keep, I'm just going to leave hanging. There's really no need to pull it down, but anything I want to donate or sell to thread up, I'll obviously pull out and sort through. And then down here is where, um, I just have like leggings and stuff in here. Um, but underneath that is where I keep out of season clothes. My system for that is going to change because this is where we're going to put a new drawer. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So I've got my cell pile started with the things I pulled from my closet and donate and keep. So now I'm gonna pull out my seasonal items and sort them where they need to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this dress instead of trying to sell it. On average, ThreadUp accepts about 40% of what people send in clean out bags, but if you want to do better than that and get more stuff accepted, obviously you wanna send in your best stuff. So do things that are defect free, that don't have any holes or stains or anything like that. They need to be freshly cleaned and on trend. So like maybe you purchased them the last five years or so. So this doesn't fit into that category. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save the time and donate it. Same goes for this dress. And if you're interested, I'm gonna talk as I sort. <laughs> but Thread Up also does do donate bags now. So say you have stuff that you'd like to donate um, instead of sell, you can order a donate bag and instead of having to like truck it off somewhere yourself, they will take care of that for you. And of course, anything that you send in in a standard bag that doesn't get accepted, they recycle responsibly. And in addition to their standard bag, you can also do an expedited bag if you wanna get things faster. The standard bag takes about two weeks for them to process. Um, and you can pay $16.99 and have them do an expedited one week process. Correction, the expedited fee is $16. I would definitely recommend, if you're trying to sell, just trying to do the standard bag, I think you're gonna get the best value that way, but if you really just want to get your return and get it quickly, then maybe shoot for the expedited. I actually really like these sandals, they're by Blowfish, but um, I'm getting older, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and um, when I wear flip-flop style shoes, it just hurts my ankles. I need a strap. So even though I love how cute those are, I'm going to have to get rid of those. These ones, on the other hand, I'm going to keep because they have the ankle strap. If you ever do second guess stuff that you're sending in, they do have a policy where say they don't accept something, um, you can pay $9.99 and have them um, send things back to you that they didn't accept. So if you're sending something in with sentimental value and you're kind of on the fence about it anyway, and then they end up not accepting it, then you can just have that $9.99 deducted from your payout and have it sent back to you. So it gives you a little bit of an insurance policy there. 
Me, I don't really get too sentimentally attached to clothes for the most part, so I just want gone. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move this keep stuff back into my bin. I'm just gonna throw it in for now <laughs> because I'm gonna organize everything better once I get the drawers installed in my closet. I definitely did not clean up for you guys. <laughs> my drawer here, um, it definitely needs some attention, but this is where I keep my pajamas and lounge wear and athletic wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the things that I would like to donate or sell from here. does like a graduated payout scale now so the higher they can list an item for the more they can pay you essentially and obviously the older an item is the more you wear it and stuff the value is going to decrease so again have realistic expectations about what they can actually list it for and it'll help you know what you'll get back use your payout estimator look at their chart to see um, the different percentages that you'll get paid back so for shorts like this um, I don't think they'll list it for very much, so I'll be lucky if I get like 50 cents. Now, something like this though, these are Lululemon Athletic Capris. I have lost a decent amount of weight, and so anytime I try to wear these now, they just keep rolling down. They're too big. So since they are Lululemon, they'll probably be able to list some, I would guess, for at least like 35-ish dollars. Um, and based on that, I would get a 25% payout, so that would be $8.75. So decent amount. I think it's pretty comparable to what I would get going to a consignment store, but I don't actually have to like go to a consignment store. You get your bag, hold on, right here. <laughs> it already has a pre-paid sticker on it. You have your postman come pick it up, but it just makes it so much easier. It's less of a hassle. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm all about that life. So um, I think this is everything that I have to put in my sell bag. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up. Alright, so the bag is ready to go off to thread up. I'm ready to send that off and then they'll take care of all the pictures and the listing and the pricing and I don't have to worry about all that because in the past I used to try to be one of those people who would like try to sell things myself because I thought I can make so much money that way except I would just collect things in a box and it would just sit there for months and I would never actually do anything about it so this is such an easy way for me to just get things out of my house so happy to be done with that process and now that that's done I can move on to the deep clean part part of getting my closet pulled together. So I'm gonna go downstairs and grab my vacuum and we're gonna get to it. Before I vacuum, I'm actually gonna go through and pull out all of my fall and winter stuff from my closet because it's finally warming up to the point where I really don't need cardigans or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll get to vacuuming. All right, I'm gonna get this out of the way and then we'll get to cleaning. I found safety pins from old clothes purchases. It's amazing what you find when you start cleaning. <laughs> Quick tip while I'm in here is that uh, I always keep scissors in my closet, so if you need to cut off a tag or loose thread or something, that's handy. I also like to keep a full length mirror, which you'll see me clean in a minute, um, because those things are just helpful. So. I have vacuumed this shelf. Somehow I have dogs and dog hair always seems to get up here. So happened to anybody else? Like dog hair just goes everywhere, literally. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm keeping my winter shoes up here. I have all of my boots because there's really not a better place to keep them. I don't have a ton. I only have three pairs. So they're going to stay up here um, and everything else as far as winter and fall stuff is going to be put away. But now I'm going to vacuum the floors and stuff and then I'll get to the mirror. this closet has zero lighting at all <laughs> but if you see that drawer back there that's what I actually put my out of season items in and that's a three drawer chest but I have a five drawer chest just like it's from Ikea that will be going in on the master closet so now in here there's obviously a ton more space I got those storage bins out of the way now that we're using the drawers for out of season stuff and I'm just dealing with one season now and so this weird transition phase that Texas has been going through so I have a lot fewer items hanging up 
and I can even have like more space to push this back and I have like a ton of space here for a drawer so we'll have no problem getting that drawer in. Um, I have a feeling we're not going to be able to get to it tonight <laughs> because of our friends coming in. So I'm just going to make that executive decision now that I won't be able to show that to you in this video. But pretty straightforward, a pine drawer. These won't be here. Those will be in a different closet. I'm just storing them here for now. Um, so the drawer that we're getting will go up to like right under here. So that'll fit perfectly. We still need to do Caleb's side. He has a lot going on. He still has heavy winter stuff over there and that may be going in the drawer. We'll see how much space we have. And then my shoes up here. I'm not really, I used to be a shoe girl, but now I really just have my few that I like to go to. So that's what I have right now. And then, like I said, I'm going to leave my boots out. That way I don't have to worry about trying to store them somewhere. But a lot of space created. It's a lot cleaner and decluttered. So I'm excited about the progress today. I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about how I organize all this. Scoot all that down. <laughs> um, I don't, I know some people go like in the color of the rainbow or, or the order of the colors of the rainbow, but I just kind of group things together by color. So I have like blushy pinks and stuff like that. And then I have grays, which naturally leads into blacks. And then I do the same thing with my dresses. That way, when I want to get something, let me move those out of the way again. <laughs> I know exactly where I need to look. But let's say I wanted my black shirt with the purple flowers. Boom, there it is because I know to find it with my black shirt. So I know some people just kind of like throw stuff in their closet and they think they don't have time to like fuss with it. But it really takes no more time really when I'm hanging stuff up because I just know, boom, this goes here, boom, this goes here by color. And then picking out my clothes is so much easier this way because I know exactly where everything's at. One more thing I wanted to show y'all is that on the inside door of my closet, I have one of these over the door hook things. So I have a couple of just baseball caps and then this is all mangled because I pulled it out of storage but that is for like you know obviously just a straw hat for when we go to the beach or whatever and then I wear a cami just about every single day so this it works out as a really good system just hang them there instead of like having to fold a bunch of camis I can just hang them by the strap so have some additional storage there for little necessities. So this little ray of sunshine is up from her nap now, but thank you guys so much for coming along with me as I gave my closet a good clean out and a little bit of a facelift. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Press that notification bell to make sure you get notified when I post a new video. And other than that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next one.